lifetime. Oh, see, this of, is uh, broadcast back to. Back yeah, I see, we've had a, uh, a premature uh, separation of the umbilical on stage two, so we're going to have to abort for the day. Okay, copy that. Uh, this is LC on countdown one. Abort, abort, abort. This is LC on countdown one. Abort, abort, abort. Proceed to abort saving procedures. Three times. And well, we just heard on the uh, countdown loop, they've had to basically scrub for the day. They've had a premature uh, uh, dislocation of one of the umbilicals on the second stage. And obviously, John, that's, uh, you know, that's not going to be a launch today. And then, of course, they'll have to regroup and, and uh, coordinate um, planning for turnaround activities, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, this will likely be a 48-hour uh, recycle. Master Harm Enable Indicators Extinguish on Failed Safe Channel. As we discussed uh, early on in the broadcast, this was it's all intended to be the last in a series of tests, and the further we get through the count, the more we learn each time. Well, absolutely. A, you know, a test flight is just that, so uh, uh, work through issues on the ground. It's certainly better to have them here than in flight, so uh, definitely something to work through. So we'll stand by uh, for a little bit and... Uh, and uh, Let's see if we can uh, find out some information for you on the turnaround activities uh, and whether or not we'll have uh, a um, post-scrub uh, press briefing to uh, lay out. Obviously, this has uh, just happened, so we'll uh, stand by and, and uh, see if we can get you some more information. Again, the, uh, the launch today has been uh, uh, scrubbed at uh, just about the 12-minute mark of the uh, countdown uh, due to a um, premature separation of one of the umbilicals up there on the uh, second stage of uh, the Antares rocket. FTSA, FTSB, safe indication and telemetry. LC copies, check out the eight. And site control, this is LC, step out of nine is not required. Copy. Op one LC step out for ten is not required. Copy. Op one, can you verify payload sim ODM indicate safe? LC Op one uh, payload ODM indicate safe. Check out eleven and electrical one uh, looking for verification of payload sim ODMs in telemetry. Payload ODMs verified safe. Check out twelve. And Op 1 LC step out for 13 is not required. Copy. And uh, step out for 14 is not required. And step out for 15 is not required. Control on engineering one. And launch team LC on uh, countdown one. Uh, we're now into step uh, Alpha 16 of the board chafing operations. I uh, said Alpha 16 is not required. So, just to recap, uh, the uh, launch for today has been scrubbed um, due to a uh, premature separation of one of the umbilicals up on the second stage of the Antares rocket. Uh, you're just looking at a view of the range control center. The uh, Antares rocket stands 130 feet tall. So um, obviously, John, um, 
that notwithstanding, it it still is going to require defueling and um, and and obviously uh, reattaching that, determining why it came off, and and then regroup and and determine when the next best uh, launch opportunity is. Right. Yeah, that's correct, Kyle. Right now, the team is uh, moving into the abort script to uh, detank, uh, defuel the launch vehicle, safe the launch vehicle, and uh, ultimately return it to its uh, nominal state. And uh, to track through that process uh, will likely take uh, between 24 and 48 hours. So if uh, everyone um, continues to monitor our, our website and the other uh, news outlets, uh, we will make sure to have additional information on the next launch attempt. Yeah, and of course we'll we'll stay here for a little bit and see if we can get some more information uh, uh, on uh, when the uh, we have an opportunity to provide some more detail either uh, via online or uh, uh, a uh, press conference there from the launch facility. Okay, copy that. And obviously uh, um, the camera views um, can also, as you see, be zoomed in and, and provide um, an engineering um, view for the uh, for the team as well. Uh, obviously, uh, it's still in a pad clear situation, so zooming the cameras in provides <coughs> at least an early glimpse at uh, what may have um, caused the umbilical to separate there from that uh, the upper stage or the second stage of the rocket. LC Copper, check out for 23. And at this time, like to pull for transfer of avionics. And, uh, excuse me, a step out for 24 is not required. Step out for 25 is not required. Step out for 26 is not required. Step out for 27, not required. Site control, step out for 28, discharge tail rapid retract system. Site control copies in work. 4 p.m. LC, step out for 31, configure DTOM source to close loop telemetry. 4 p.m. in work. LC, this is RPM. You can switch to close loop telemetry and nominal. And LC copies of RPM will go ahead and check out for 31, check out for 32. Tactical 1, verify receive closed loop telemetry in the MCC. LC electrical 1, closed loop telemetry nominal. LC copies check out for 33 and OPM switch payload sim decom source to closed loop telemetry. Payload simulator decom switch to closed loop telemetry and now 34 and check out for 35. Let's go one verify receipt of payload sim closed loop telemetry in the MCC. LCC electrical or LC electrical one payload simulator closed loop telemetry nominal. LC copies check out for 36. Ops two you go to turn a rocket cam transmitter off at this time. LCC Ops 2, rocket cam transmitter is off. 